What's up you guys? I'm back again with another video and um, today I just wanted to share a quick message of hopefully hope and inspiration to everyone out there who's struggling. These are very, very challenging times for a lot of people um, and especially financially, you know. Most people don't have the reserves or the funds to last them through a downturn, you know? A lot of people are starting to lose their jobs if they haven't already, and it's only really gonna continue. And most people really don't know how long it goes for. You can look at the stock market, but the stock market's not a good indicator of the economy at the end of the day. The stock market is an exclusive elite share of corporations and their perceived values. So it's not usually the best indication of how a middle class family in America is doing. You know, small businesses don't show up on the stock market. 50% of Americans work for small businesses. I want to send a message out to all of the men in particular. You aren't your job, you know. As men, I think a lot of times, and especially here in America, American culture is, it's, it's work-centric. So you're defined by the work that you do for the most part. When someone asks you, what do you do for a living? Or what do you, you know, what do you do? They mean for a living, to make money. Um, and because they see that as one of the most important, or even in your response, you'll tell them when they say, what do you do? You rarely start with your hobbies. You start with what you do for a living. Because that's how you define yourself. And that's dangerous. You know, that's number one, that's just not the case everywhere. You know, if you go to, I'm, I'm from Sudan, for instance. So in Sudanese society, Work isn't the most important factor. You know, your family probably comes before work. So before knowing what you do for a living, they probably want to know who you're related to. You know, I'm this person's cousin or I'm from this family or this is, you know, my wife from this family, you know, as opposed to this is my wife. She's a doctor, you know, which kind of how people view it here. The logic behind both responses is fairly similar. It's, at the end of the day, it's about security, right? So in Sudan, when they're asking, you know, where they're trying to figure out what family you're coming from, it's because, hey, this is a good family. We know that this family, you know, will support you and provide for you and whatever, if you're thinking about a, um, like a marriage relationship or something like that. And then here, because it's, it's thought that the individual is going to provide for you as opposed to their family. Most people don't give a fuck about what well, family you're coming from. They're like, what job do you have? Because you're the one who's going to be taking care of my daughter or, you know, my, what, my niece or, or whatever. So the job here is a lot more important than in other places. But that's not to say that it's not important in most places. Um, and that's why this message is really going out to a lot of men. You know, I worked with, with men for a while. Um, you know, I guess you could say in like men's activist or men's rights or I wouldn't call it men's rights. I'd call it more like um, men's activism or empowerment. I used to work a lot with that when I was in college um, and we used to do programming, workshops, mentorship programs for little boys pretty much to teach them how to become better men, you know, whether that's through their relations with with women, the way that they think about themselves um, their, their views on, on, on the world, their, their body, their mind, their finances, their spirit, you know, in, in its whole. Uh, we would kind of help them or guide them, I guess you could say, towards a better self. Um, to speak back on my main point, we here in America put a lot of emphasis on what job do you do? What do you do for a living? And in times like this, a lot of men are going to start to feel emasculated, to keep it real. 
because you're no longer going to be of value in your eyes to your family unit. You know, a lot of men, we put into our heads that we are the providers, we're the caretakers, uh, we are the support for our family, which you should be, (laughs) you know, but we too often, since we have that work dominated idea in our minds, we attach ourselves too much to the specific work that we do as opposed to the results of that work. This is something that I struggled with for a while because I don't have a formal job. So it was very, very difficult for me for years, honestly, at least a year, um, to tell people what it is that I did when they asked me that question, what do you do? And it took a lot of soul searching and understanding myself to figure out who am I outside of the work that I do? And it shows up every day, well, hopefully every day when I do my daily affirmations. You know, I do tell myself every day, I am a real estate developer. I am an athlete. I am a writer. But I also tell myself that I'm a lover and I'm a giver, and I'm philanthropic, and I'm open to new experiences, and, and, and. Because there's so much more to me than the work that I do. I try to focus on the results of the work that I do. I don't take so much pride in buying a new house as knowing that the tenant I placed in there is forever going to remember me as that 25-year-old who rented us a house, (laughs) you know? So I don't want to make this too long of a video, but I just want to send a quick message, like I said out there, to to all the men in particular. You're not the work that you do. So when you lose your job, you didn't lose yourself. Be real mindful about what energy you put out there, what you say about yourself, and ultimately the actions that follow. Be mindful. Be mindful of the mental traps that you can trick yourself into falling into when you think you are the sum of your work. You're so much more than a paycheck. Although your girl might see you as that. Hey, I mean, I don't know your relationship, you feel me? But (laughs) for real, you know, Men's suicide rates are, are astronomical compared to women. And part of the reason is because of a lot of these pressures that men face and feel that we rarely discuss, you know, the pressure to provide. And, and what does that mean in a time like now when a lot of people are losing out financially? So for all my men out there, just remember that you're not your work. You're the results of your work. So focus on what result you're trying to reach. If the result is I want to provide for my family and make sure that they're secure, well, just know that providing for your family and making sure they're secure also means maintaining the control, maintaining the mood, the vibe. It's not just about providing financially, although that is an aspect of it. You have to provide the emotional stability too. It's not just financial stability. You got to provide the emotional stability. You have to be the face that people look to when they're worried in the same way that people look towards the president when they're worried and they want to see how the president moves and reacts and responds because that gives them an indication of the level of severity of the issue that they're dealing with. The same thing happens in your household unit or within your domestic partnerships or whatever. You are the rock. And for this to be a rock star relationship, you got to stay stable. You got to be strong. You got to know yourself. So don't get too tied into the work that you do. You know, really lean into who you are as a person. And if you don't know, use this time to figure out. You are a lover. You are a giver. 
You are a writer, an artist, a traveler, a this, a son, a father, whatever it is. Lean into those things. Thank y'all. Have a good one. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. More videos coming soon. Peace.